No. Oh yeah, here we go. One tone. Welcome back to JR Pro Shop Vids. Jimu here. Today we are talking about the new track archetype. We got Barks back on the lanes, our lefty specialist, Brunswick specialist, track specialist today. And he's gonna compare this ball to the track Paragon as well as the Legion Solid from track as well. Just looking at this ball, this ball seems like it hooks. You can see how dull it came out of box and also sports the QR11 solid cover stock, which is the same as the Track Paragon. So unlike the Track Paragon that has the iCore 3.0, this new Track Archetype has the iCore 3.0 slim. So what this does, it creates more torque, which will result in a sharper down lane reaction. And special treat, we also have the Legion Solid here today. We didn't do a review for this one, so double dipping here, dual review of the Archetype and the Legion Solid. Now the Legion Solid has a weaker core and cover combination, so we expect it to not cover as many boards as this Archetype or even the Track Paragon. So three ASIM solids from Track. Are we going to see three different reactions on the lanes? Stay tuned to find out. So the pattern for today is Big Ben, 44 feet. It's more on the easy side, a lot of oil in the middle, and some dry boards on the outside. So we'll see how all three of these roll for Barks. They should be pretty good. We usually want solids on the longer, heavier patterns. Now before we get out onto the lanes, make sure you check out shop.jrproshop.com. As you can see, I got a nice new merchandise design hoodie right here sporting punch out, which is three strikes in the 10th frame. Hopefully we see a few strikes out on the lanes and also check out our merch at shop.jaraproshop.com. Okay, Barks, let's throw it. Hey guys, Barks is back. We got the brand new track archetype. So this new archetype uses the same cover stock, the QR11 solid that was found on the Paragon. It's a slightly modified core shape. So you're gonna see the same heavy density disc in the middle, just slightly taller, more slender uh, profile that core. So what this should do in theory is create more back end motion. We're here on Big Ben, it's 44 feet. Now there are some dry boards to the outside. Let's try and play pretty straight on top of them. I don't think it's gonna look very good, but Jimmy wants to try this, so let's give it a shot. No, no, we can't play there today. It just hooks too early and just keeps going too much. Let's move right into some of that oil and see if we can get this ball down the lane a bit further. So this ball does come quite dull out of box and is very bright, which is not very typical of a track ball. If you look at most of the track lineup, it's subtle colors, it's dark, usually one tone. But this is definitely a different look. You can see that floats through the front a little bit easier once you get it into some oil, but it's still picking up early in that mid lane. It's a really round shape. It's actually really reminiscent of the Paragon, which makes sense. They're kind of a close relative to each other. Let's throw a Paragon in that same line. Now to my eye, that goes a little further down the lane before it starts to get into motion. Now that might be, you know, fresh cover versus the ball that's been used a little bit. It's also a little bit difficult sometimes when you have a really bright colored ball to see the stages of ball motion. Now for me, I have an easier time seeing the stages in a solid color ball like this and saying it's a bit darker. I'm gonna bump two left because that was a little short of the pocket, maybe a little more flush in this spot. To me, that shapes a bit more down lane. I don't know what it is about how that ball looks color-wise. The fact that it's multiple tones of the same color versus contrasting colors. All right, let's throw the archetype on the same line we just struck with the Paragon. Yeah, a little bit stronger and a little bit more of a motion down lane. Lucky to trip out the 6-7 on that one. All right, so we're about halfway through the vid here. Got the brand new track archetype. As you can see, 
really bright colors and contrasting colors. Now, myself personally, I like balls that are a little bit darker, but you let me know down in the comments. Do you like the bright colored balls or something a little bit darker? So let's see a little bit more shape, a little bit more length through the front part of the pattern here. Let's go to the Track Legion Solid. Now we didn't do a review for this one. I somehow it got missed, I couldn't tell you why. But uh, it's a ball I've thrown a little bit. It definitely has its purpose. It's a little cleaner, a little bit more responsive down lane and not so early. Sometimes you don't want that early hook and friction, right? Yeah, see I like that solid tone of purple. I always like solid color balls, one tone. I think I'm gonna throw that more, I like that ball. Let me move like three boards right and slow my speed down. See if you can still shape from that spot. Wrap seven there, it was a good shot. You can definitely see that that ball shapes more down lane and clears the fronts a bit easier. We have three ASIM solids here that each provide a slightly different ball motion. So we know this one's real strong, this archetype here. Let's keep moving right till we find a spot where the ball can't come back from. I'm gonna stand about 30. So that is another three right of that last shot with the Legion. Okay, I like that shot there. We can keep moving right. So we still have some, uh, some motion off of that spot. Let's move another two right. Oh yeah, there we go. Should we keep moving, g -Man? Yes. Yeah, let's keep going. That was standing 32, let's go to 34. I might have to get really slow with this one. Oh. Well, I think we've reached the limit on that one. Let's send it back to the shop. All right, everyone, back from the lanes. Let's talk about the new archetype from Track. First impression, this ball was super bright when I unboxed it. It's not what you expect out of the Track brand. Typically, you have darker, kind of uniform tones. To see a ball like this is a little bit out of character for Track. As far as performance and what I saw in the lanes, uh, we have the same QR11 solid cover that we had on the Paragon, the slightly modified core shape. My first impression is this ball is a beast. This thing really wants to dig in and never stop hooking. However, it is difficult to kind of see it go through its different phases of ball motion because of the contrasting colors. To my eye, I like to see more uniform colors and tones so I can see what a Paragon is doing as it goes down the lane and as it goes through its phases of ball motion. This makes it a little bit difficult because of the bright colors. They seem very similar to me, the Paragon, the archetype. This may be a hair stronger just because it's new and that cover stock is fresh but there seems to be a bit of overlap, so I don't know if I would need both in my bag. So comparing against these two, we also threw the Legion Solid, which for some reason we didn't get around to filming a review for. So this was sort of the review for that, so dual purpose today. So the Legion Solid has the LT2 core, which was found in the Legion Solid in years past. It also had the Prime Response cover stock, which was found on the Proof, which is a great ball. For anyone who had the chance to throw it, that ball was awesome. And to be honest, I saw a lot of the same things out of the Legion Solid. So compared to an archetype, it had a little more length and a little bit more change of direction, a little more back end motion. So you see two balls that sort of complement each other here. The archetype for the fresher conditions, we need the ball to dig in earlier, and the Legion Solid for when the front start to go and you want to get down the lane a little bit more. The three asymmetric solids, a little bit of overlap here, but a little bit different compared to a Legion Solid. Do you need these two? Do you need them both? Probably not. Now the Paragon here has been one of my favorites since it came out just over a year ago. This may end up replacing it just because this has so many games on it. This is just a kind of a newer, fresher version that's a little bit stronger. I'm not loving the colors because I don't like the bright kind of multicolored balls too, too much, but maybe it'll grow on me, who knows. So if you're looking for a ball that can handle a lot of oil, especially for those longer patterns, uh, the Archetype's gonna be the ball for you. Thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to answer my question below. We kind of touched on it a bit earlier, but do you prefer the brighter, more multicolored balls or something a little bit darker and more uniform? Uh, personally, I like the, the solid color balls or at least balls that have the same color and different tones. But you let me know down in the comments. Special shout out to our friends at Bufa Distribution in Montreal. Don't forget to use our promo code JUNGLEBARKS at checkout to save 10% off your order. Anything you need bowling related, they got it. Thanks for watching everyone. Stay tuned for our next video.